Here we have my um, GET Siren made in England. I thought I'd do a close up video of this siren. I don't think I did a close up video of this siren without sounding this thing with the new paintwork. Put over here where the light is. This sun came from the UK, I'm not sure how old it is, copy it's World War II. So it's right here, made in England. The only thing missing is the top part. Um, I don't know where, where I can get that from, but if I do get that, I'll be putting it on top. When I got this sign, this sign was rusted up a bit. It had the paint was all peeled off, so I painted it in the air red sign grey, and with the red chopper. You always want to be careful with these sirens, not to be fingers in the holes when this thing spins up, because you lose your fingers otherwise. I always be safe around this sun when I'm running it up the full speed because I always have it on the ground when I run it up sometimes. I will be really running this up again. If the coronavirus is over before New Year's Eve, I will set this off in Melbourne on New Year's Eve. This sun runs on 250 volts AC or DC. It draws 7 amps. You see what that one says? Well, I don't know what that means, but it's got, I think that's the lot number 099718. This sounds a very good siren. I've tested it so many times. I just didn't want you to check If you check out my channel, you'll see this sign in the action. I've set off every Tuesday when the shower firing jog did their siren test. Um, I'll put a new cable on it. I must think of a process cable with a gong cable. But what I'll do for the video, I'll run it up. I'm not going to run it up the full speed. Because I'm living in a flat, I'm not going to set the siren off because it is pretty loud. I'm going to set this up to run it up the full speed. There's the bottom half. I will paint the sign again because red paint all over it again so I might paint this up and get some more grey paint but that's my GEC made siren 